as far as form right now is concerned, yes, Giroud has been better than Morata. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see that as a huge mistake playing Morata. But playing a guy that's not playing well. Listen, are we talking about Giroud here or what? The it's guy's not... average at best. Well, it doesn't matter. So, if you're, going to, if you're going to leave him out, that's fine. I have no problem with that. He's Morata, well. who hasn't been playing well, Give him a chance. Give him a game. Well, you're, going to have, games to go. you're going to have plenty of opportunities. Oh, you're going to have sake. plenty of the ball playing Morata oh, over Giroud. This I, is not like we're leaving Messi out, by the way. No. No. Your brain's getting baffled oh, these days. God, we, Honestly, what are you saying? You, what, what, you want yes. me to sit and argue with you because Giroud didn't play in Morata? Your, your initial statement contradicts itself. As poor as Morata's been, I can understand and I can see why he's playing. Give him a game. What? Well, Cesc Fabregas wanted to weigh in on uh, what Craig and Stevie were talking about, saying, I think the biggest uh, regret maybe this season has been up front, not taking our chances. Uh, Giroud's been helping us a lot in certain things that maybe we were lacking. Hmm. The most important is he's scoring goals, scoring big goals, which is what we ask, especially me as a midfielder. This is what we want. The strikers put their chances away and make the team win points. That was Cesc Fabregas talking uh, to Sky Sports. Didn't actually mention uh, Mr Alvaro Morata by Didn't name, but he to. might as well have done. Yeah. Mind me? Bit of scaremongering, huh? Yeah. What, what, do you, what do you make of that, Fabregas? I, I Basically saying what you and Greg were arguing about yesterday. I, f I find it strange that a player is saying that about a teammate, and as much mm. as he may try to disguise exactly who he's, who he's uh, referring to here, it's, it's, it's kind of obvious for everyone to see. Um, the truth of the matter is... What? I don't find it obvious. Do <laughs> you think it's obvious he's talking about Murata? No, I think he's praising Giroud. Mm. And then... I, and think, I think it's just too easy to turn around and, and not listen to what he's actually saying and try and think it's, he's talking about something else. It's the old, uh, well, I'll say that, but then everybody will know I'm talking about that. Mm. That's <laughs> what I think. <laughs> well, he's at, for me, he's actually praising Giroud. Well, he did talk about regrets this season, not taking our chances. Right? And, and finally, was... we have a striker who's oh, so scoring goals. So, so there's down to one man. Well, he's pretty, pretty much been the man, hasn't he, for, for, for at least half of Chelsea's what, year. What I, can say, what I can say about what says Fabregas just mentioned there, he did say, well, our problem is that we haven't scored our goals up top, and, and certainly me as a midfielder. So It's unnecessary for him to come out and talk yeah. this way. See, it's because if I'm, if I'm a striker, and yes, maybe we struggle scoring goals, I can then turn back around and say, well, you're not defending. I can, I can go to Cesc Fabregas and say, well, you're not covering the ground. You're not helping us out. You're not recovering the ball, and we're not getting service from you. So once you start this back and forth, it, you get nowhere. The truth of the matter is that Chelsea has been disappointing. Yes, Morata has been disappointing. But as a whole, Chelsea, including Conte, including Fabregas, they all have been disappointed, and they all have played a part in this. Nobody yeah. from Chelsea has improved their goal tally from last season outside of Marcus Alonso. I think once, the, once January hit, Chelsea were in second, and then you saw the pre something going on with Conte, something behind the scenes, and the team just seemed to implode. I, I put it down to something going on behind the scenes, personally.